Benitez, and Benitez is trying to come up to that situation and give the right answer. This is the 11th round. Benitez trying to pick up the pace here. particularly tired. There's a right hand by Benitez. That was a pretty good shot. And he takes the right hand. Says, no, I'm not hurt. But he took a good shot from Hearns. Hearns gets the better of it on the ropes, almost invariably. Because Hearns did get better leverage. Mainly because of his height advantage, and Benitez, once Benitez gets his eyes, because he does get position, but all of a sudden, he doesn't find room, let's go some big shots. And you'll see, he'll work, Benitez will work his way in, he gets there, and uh, all of a sudden he says, well, this wall is bigger than I thought it was. There was a butt. Neither man is damaged, but you saw Tommy Hearns call the attention of Octavio Moran. Tommy Hearns has looked very impressive. I mean, he's fighting a he's fighting a real a true champion here in Benitez. He's fighting a very smart fight, too. You know, it's funny, though. You know, I'm sitting on the outside, and uh, it's like the rounds are going by so fast. But in that ring, the rounds seem as though it takes hours before the pass, especially on the losing end. It's much easier for Larry Merck and I out here, I'll tell you. We, we are undefeated out here, and we could fight every couple of weeks. Well, I prefer to dress this way. the bell. Larry Holmes, I don't I don't see Tommy Hearns letting up at all and giving Benitez any chance to seize the initiative. But Tommy's doing what he has to do to win. He got that jab working, he got that quick right hand, and he also counters. Benitez don't know what to do. He's kind of confused. You see? Let's listen to Emmanuel Stewart and Tommy Hearns. He got a grand on him, man. That's what you're doing. Oh. The round is coming up. Number 12. Okay, Keep biting me, bro. I don't mind you getting him in the ropes over there. Just keep him in the ropes. You're doing good in the ropes. You got a hand on this man. Okay, baby. Keep your hands up now. Be sure you, you keep them up. Well, I'll tell him if your attacks get close together. You're shooting them, but you get too much time in between. Let's try to think. By play there where Emmanuel Stewart is now saying to Tommy Hearns, it's okay if he wants to be back on the ropes. We don't have to be afraid of him there anymore. Thus indicating that he feels Tommy Hearns has things in hand. This is the 12th. Tommy just winked at me just before the round started. I guess just to reassure me that everything is in a com com complete control. Well, it looks that way right now. One thing that does impress me is that the corner of Tommy Hearns is very calm and I've always, it's always been my experience that the corner that is more collected, more calm, is the most effective. Well, that, that is must. I mean, Tommy Hearns' corner is very professional. He hangs to it. He knows the business. He knows exactly what he's talking about. Blood from the nose of Wilfred Benitez now. And also 
also a little bit of a cut, I believe, on the bridge of the nose. That's a long side, the left eye, and that could cause Benitez some problems. Benitez is corner, and his father, Goyo, Gregorio, urging him onward. But Benitez can't seem to double up against the very effective Tommy Hearns tonight. You see, Tommy Hearns can let that right hand go at any given moment. And that's what Benitez has to be very careful of. When, he, when he's coming in, although he's, he's doing the right thing about fainting, he's still vulnerable for that straight right hand because he's coming straight at Tommy. Well, I really didn't think I would see anybody be able to dictate the tempo of the fight against somebody like Wilfred Benitez, and yet I think Tommy Hearns has done that so far, Ray. Well, again, you know um, Tommy Hearns, he, he extends that left hand. He's got to knock it down. Knock it out of the way. It's not supposed to be there anyway, so knock it down. Benitez is kicking the pace up, but he's walking in. Took a good shot. That was a good left hand from Hearn. Benitez's pace is starting to show the beating it has taken from both the left and right hand of Tommy Hearn. I know you can relate to that. Yes, in fact, they've always criticized Tommy for not having stamina. Once he fought me, that proved he has stamina. But recently, Tommy has not been going the distance. And still, here's the 12th round. He looks very fresh. Tommy's doing the right thing, keeping Benitez at the end of the left jab. Inside of 10 seconds, round 12. He can do this for 40 rounds, sir. He looks very strong. He's been on his toes at the right time, worked the ring very well, fighting a very smart fight. Let's take a look at the champion, Wilfred Benitez, a man whose crown right now appears to be toppling. You can almost see it falling down around his eyes at this moment. One of the reasons that Benitez isn't effective, Ray, as he goes after Hearns, is that he's, he's practically never had to do it during his career. He's not comfortable throwing more than a, a one punch or a punch and a half as he moves forward, and then his initiative seems to peter out. And also, the fact that Benitez always had trouble with boxer. With me, when I was able to move and utilize the ring, it frustrated him in a sense. Three more rounds and Tommy Hearns will have come all the way back from that defeat by Ray Leonard. This is the 13th and Wilfred Benitez is simply running out of time and running after Tommy Hearns. Again, Benitez is running in with that head. Very dangerous against a man like Tommy Hearns because of that right hand Tommy has. Each man has been knocked down once, each a questionable knockdown. So Benitez, he's close that left jab out to get close to Tommy. And quite naturally, the jab is to get you closer, but you can't float it out there. You have to stick it out with authority. Once again, Benitez gets the one punch in, but cannot double up. The left hand caught the glove of Tommy Hearns. Using that jab, keeping his man off him, using the ring. And draws a warning for fighting. Benitez now, she just can't get close enough because Tommy is. He moves back, 
when uh, Benitez tries to get in, and he just can't get in position to do any serious damage to uh, Tony Hill. It's very frustrating for a fighter, especially for Benitez at this point here. I guess he feels he's behind, you know, especially uh, by points, and uh, he wants to pull it on. Because this time won't give him the opportunity. Trying to press Hearns, and he just can't get close enough. right hand that did land on the top of the head of Tommy Hearns, thrown by Wilfred Benitez. 